But I want to give you a little take-home message here, which is some practical steps that you can enact, not starting next year, but in fact starting tomorrow, uh, as well as buying your Valentine's card, uh, to reduce corticosteroid exposure in your patients. The first thing is to educate. Educate your patients. Actually, patients are very smart. They understand the risks. They know the risks, and many of them have the experience that, that we simply lack of corticosteroid exposure. But make them aware of what they should do. So you're being offered corticosteroids by your primary care practitioner, contact us. Let us know what's going on. Educate your primary care colleagues. We know from data in the UK that a lot of inappropriate prescribing goes on in primary care. This isn't to humiliate or beat up our primary care colleagues. It's our role as secondary care practitioners to educate and share the knowledge we have of the risks of corticosteroids. And educate your colleagues. Um, perhaps the most informative way to do that is simply to undertake an audit and look at the practice within your unit. Assess your patients for corticosteroid response when you do initiate prescription. Mark showed very nicely that response to corticosteroids, although strong, could not be taken as a given, and don't just regard corticosteroids as a fire and forget therapy. Know your own numbers. If you don't know what fraction of your patients were exposed to corticosteroids and what, patient, what fraction of your patients had corticosteroid excess in the previous 12 months, then there are very simple tools out there that you can use to help gather that information, and you may well be surprised by the results. And finally, if you are starting a patient on corticosteroids, always have in mind what your exit strategy is. As I said at the start, this is a fire extinguishing strategy, not uh, a fire prevention strategy. Now, I want to wrap up there, and more important than anything else, I want to thank both Iris and Mark for absolutely fantastic talks and, uh, and sharing their, their knowledge with us. Um, I'd like to ask you uh, to complete an evaluation form, the second half uh, of that form, if you could do so now, uh, and really thank you uh, for your, for your uh, participation and attendance at today's symposium. The last thing I'm going to show you is this video, which has been put together uh, to give the, the one voice which is really missing from this stage, which is the patient's voice. So I'm going to leave this playing as we close and wish you all uh, a thoroughly enjoyable rest of the Congress and enjoy Vienna. Thank you.